officially, the C30 is a coupe, but it's also a rival for classy three-door hatchbacks such as the Audi A3 and Volkswagen Golf. With the right engine and trim, it's a solid contender and sound value for money. There are two mainstream petrol engines, a 1.6 and a 2-litre T5, and the smaller one needs working quite hard. That's not true of the high-performance T5, but even so, the smart money goes on one of the two diesels. Even the smaller 1.6 is quite punchy. If you want sharp handling, you'll need an R-Design model, but any C30 is composed on twisty roads thanks to its short travel suspension. The payoff is a firm ride, although it improves with speed, while the well-weighted steering feels numb. Other than some wind noise, the C30 makes a decent cruiser. However, there is some road noise on rougher roads and the two-litre diesel rattles around town. The C30 shares its simple dashboard design with the S40, V50 and C70. So you get the floating centre console that has open space behind. It looks great, but the switches on it are fiddly. A wide range of adjustment means it's easy to get comfortable and there's plenty of head and legroom up front. A couple of adults can get settled behind, too, but the C30 has two individual seats rather than a bench. Most rivals are roomier, while the boot is small and shallow and the luggage cover is fiddly. At least the standard kit looks good. Every C30 has climate control, electric front windows and alloy wheels. SE and SE Lux models are plusher, while our design versions give the car a sporty makeover. Other than on the T5, fuel bills are reasonable, especially on the Drive E model, which is amazingly frugal when paired with the engine stop-start system. Resale values are pretty strong too. The C30 might be Volvo's smallest and cheapest car, but there's no skimping on the interior. Dense, soft-touch plastics cover the upper dashboard and it generally feels built to last. Volvo also has a good reliability record and the mechanicals are proven. Safety is another famous Volvo strength, so it's no surprise that every model has stability control, six airbags and anti-whiplash front head restraints. Meanwhile, deadlocks, an integrated stereo and a visible VIN number all help to deter thieves. The C30 has a classy cabin and is decent to drive, so it ticks most of the right boxes. However, it isn't as much fun or as practical as key rivals, so it's no class leader.